we cannot treat this as a reality show. During a news conference on last week's mass shooting in Olney, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner came prepared to answer questions about another issue, the wall of remembrance in the district attorney's office. Commissioner is now aware of the details surrounding the temporary blockage of um, those photographs from public view. Let's back up. The controversy started Friday night when this photo was tweeted out by a spokesperson for Philly's Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 5. The picture shows a district attorney's backdrop posted up in front of the wall of remembrance, a tribute to fallen law enforcement officers that lives in a conference room in the DA's office. Well, it's a, it's a kick in the gun. John McNesby, president of the Philadelphia Police Officers Union and a frequent Krasner antagonist, was disgusted when he saw the wall covered up. It smears the uh, memories and the legacy of every officer that was on that wall. I do not regret doing what is legally required. Dia Krasner said he was legally required to cover the pictures when the room was being used for certain reasons, but was vague in specifics. What occurred during the pandemic is we were put in a position of having to use spaces, including our largest spaces, for purposes that were new, and we were required to do it in an unprecedented way. But D.A. Krasner stopped short of saying he regretted covering up the wall. I do not regret doing what is legally required. All he had to do was, was take a minute and say this, and it, you know, it was a mistake, and, and you know, we'll fix it. He, he, he's not even going to do that. Krasner said he spoke with Philly Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw over the weekend, and they have agreed to look for a new place to put the wall of remembrance so it never has to be covered up. But now running for a second term, the DA says this is all politics. And I think you all better strap into your seats and put on your seatbelts because what you're about to see, unfortunately, will be some people who are much more interested in politics than they are in prosecution. That's utter nonsense. I mean, this is covering, you know, this is something we take serious. The latest battle between the two still smoldering. Danny Freeman, NBC 10 News.